Something about Amelia was, a, again, one of the highlights of my uh, career. Uh, a woman working for me, running my company, named Deborah All, a very bright woman, came to me and said, we should do a movie about incest. And I said, incest, that's some hillbilly in the Arkansas mountains, you know, raping his niece. She said, no, it isn't. And she gave me books to read about incest and how prevalent it was and how it wasn't relegated to some backwoods. It was happening in our society. And I talked to ABC, to Brandon Stoddard, who was running the movies for television about, or the head of the network, about doing a movie about incest. It's never been done before. And there was great resistance to it. And I said, we want to we wanna shine a light on this problem. And Al Schneider, who was head of broadcast standards, was an old friend of mine, said to me, I, you can never show the incest. You can never, I don't want to see you hold on the closed doors and hear noises. I, I, I said, it'll be done very, very tastefully. And uh, Deborah was able to get, I think, William Hanley, was it, to uh, write the script. He was a very well thought of, classy television writer. I think it was Bill Hanley. I know he was a black Irishman, difficult to give notes to. Um, but he wrote a wonderful screenplay. And the network liked it. Again, we had a long talk about what you could show and what you couldn't show. And uh, we needed a director. And we looked at the student film of a woman named Randa Haynes. And we were very taken with her. We wanted to have a woman do it because we thought it needed a woman's touch. And although she had never really directed before, the network bravely approved her. And then we cast it. And the most important part was the father, the man who was going to commit the incest. And in order to bring home our point, we wanted to get someone who represented Jimmy Stewart, if he were alive, an American hero, Every man, a guy you liked, and Ted Danson was a giant star in Cheers, and everybody loved him. And he was, you know, it was very important to get somebody who you went, oh my God, he did it, anybody could fall into that trap. And then we were very fortunate to get Glenn Close to play his wife and this wonderful young actress named Roxanne Zoll to play the little girl. And again, it was, Randa did a great job. It was a wonderful script. And uh, a funny thing, we, we showed it at the press tour, and there was silence in the room. They came out, and we were going to have a, you know, a little talk. I'm sitting on the stage next to Ted Dance and these people are walking in and they look at him like this. And he said to me, tell me again why I should do this part. <laughs> he said, I'm telling you one thing. If they start coming toward me, I'm standing behind you. It was a very, very powerful, it was very brave of Ted to do it. And it was a very, very powerful film. And we enlisted the aid of one of the, or Deborah really got him, Dr. I forget his name, who was one of the leading authorities on um, incest, child abuse. And we arranged to put one of those numbers on after the show where you could call for the children to call if they had a problem. And the doctor said to me, they won't call tonight, don't be disappointed, they're at home some of them being abused. Tomorrow, and sure enough, nobody called. I thought, well, this went over badly. We didn't do any good. He said, after school, on their way home when they're free, they'll drop their dimes. And so the next day, after 3 Eastern time, I called one of the numbers in suburban Connecticut 
just suburban Connecticut. And they said they'd already had seven calls, and in three cases, the child had already been removed from the home. And the same thing happened all over the country. Wow. And um, it got a, a number of the laws changed, making it easier for children to report child abuse. It, it was one of those movies I did along with Brian's song that was just, when we screened it, we had a, a, a premiere screening at the Director's Guild. And afterwards, crowd filing out, suddenly you heard yelling and a mother and a daughter, not a little girl, a girl in her 30s, yelling at her mother. You knew. You knew what he was doing to me all those years ago, and you never lifted a finger. In the middle of the staircase, and the people all, you know, moving around them nervously. It was, wow. It was really uh, profound. And that was a great feeling because we not only got a huge rating, it was the highest rated movie of the year, but, uh, and we won the Emmy for it, for the best sh uh, show, dramatic show. But we made a difference. And if you can do that on television, if you can use the power of television to affect society in a positive way, that's the best of all possible worlds. And so that was a rare experience.